Okay guys and welcome to the seventh video in the mini series of the multiplier and again what we're trying to do is explain the effect of an initial increase in aggregate demand, an initial increase in spending in the economy, an initial injection into the economy and the resultant increase in national income which is greater than the initial injection as a result of this idea here of the multiplier effect. And essentially just to be clear what actually does happen is that the aggregate demand shifts out by the size of the injection and the multiplier effect, the extra rounds of increased expenditure that is caused by this initial injection causes the aggregate demand to shift out even further. Okay, got that uh, photo from the intelligent economist. Now, the next stage of the multiplier and the final stage of the multiplier is to take imports into account. Okay, well, how do we do that? Well, like always, there's two versions. Okay, there's one over one minus the MPC plus the MPT plus the MPM. Or, and it's the exact same formula because 1 minus the MPC equals the MPS. So we've got the MPS plus the MPT plus the MPM. Okay? Now, it has been calculated that the MPC, the marginal propensity to consume is 0.9. The marginal propensity to tax is 0.1. And the marginal propensity to import is 0.3. Calculate the size of the multiplier. And basically what we're just going to do is put all these numbers into this one here. Now, excuse me, if we were given the MPS instead of the MPC, we would use this. Okay, so what that works out is, is 1 minus 0 0.9, which is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.4, so that's 1 over 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4 equals 1 over 0 0.5, and what does that equal? 2. So you see, once you start to take into account these other leakages in terms of the marginal propensity to save, to tax, to um, import, then you find the multiplier gets a lot smaller. And then what's the economic meaning of the multiplier? Well, the economic meaning of the multiplier is that if national income, if there's an initial injection into the economy of, let's say, 10 euro, national income would rise by twice that injection, which is 20 euro. Okay, so I really hope you understand what the multiplier is, okay? The relationship between an initial injection into the circular flow of income and the resultant increase in national income coming from that initial injection. Okay, as always, please take a photo uh, so we can refer back to this, okay? And then um, I'll give you a second or two to do that now, and I will try my absolute best to remember these numbers, but again, forgive me because I'm old. Okay, so the first one is, it has been calculated that the MPC is 0.9, the MPM is 0.3, and the MPT is 0.2. Okay, similar enough numbers to the last one, but still, okay, MPC 0 0.9, 0 0.3, and 0 0.2. Okay, so let's write this out here. The MPC equals 0 0.9, the other one was 0 0.2, and the other one was 0 0.3. Okay, I can't remember. Um, MPT is 0 0.2. Okay, MPT is 0 0.2, and then MPM is 0 0.3. I just actually, I really do, I must be getting old, guys. Okay, MPM is 0.3. Okay, grand. I've just put them in different order, but it's not important at all. And the formula for the multiplier equals 1 over 1 minus MPC plus MPT plus MPM. It obviously does not matter the order with, in which you put these. As long as you're, if you're using the MPC, it's always 1 minus the MPC, but you can put that over there, okay? Because 2 plus 3 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 3 plus 2, okay? So what we're going to say now is come down here equals 1 over 1 minus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, which equals 1 over... Uh, 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5. That equals 1 over 0 0.6. And I am not foolish enough to try to do mathematics um, in my head. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get my trusty calculator out on my phone. Put this here so you can see the sum. 1 divided by 0 0.6 equals 1.6667. Okay, it's 1.67. What the economic meaning of this figure is, that if, if national income was to rise by, no, no, if there, excuse me, I do make mistakes. If there was an initial injection into the economy of 10 euro, then national income would rise by 16 euro and 70 cent, okay? That's what that multiplier figure means. You multiply the initial injection by the multiplier to get the resultant increase in national income.
Okay, now, number two. It has been calculated that the MPC is 0.8, the MPM is 0.3, and the MPT is 0.2. Okay, calculate the value of the multiplier. 0 0.8, 0 0.3, and 0 0.2. The MPT is coming last, okay. So, MPC, MPM, MPT. Equals, equals, equals. 0 0.8, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. And then the formula for the multiplier... Again, and I, I intentionally am writing this out so it sticks in your mind, guys, yeah? So that's really important. MPM plus MPT. Now, see the difference here. I put MPM in the middle in this one, and then up here I put it at the end. It does not matter, the order with which you put them. It does not matter at all. I'm going to move my trusty uh, document camera down a little bit, and I'm going to put, uh, put all the numbers into the formula. Okay, so it's 1 minus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 equals 1 over. 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 equals 1 over 0 0.7. And again, guys, you must forgive me. 1 divided by 0 0.7 equals, and according to my iPhone, it's 1.43, okay? equals a multiplier of 1.43 and again these numbers are not important okay no matter how nice or not nice they are it doesn't matter we can understand them so if there's an initial injection into the entire economy of 10 euro national income as a result of that initial injection will rise by 14 point 14 euro and 30 cent and where did i get that because it's 10 which is the injection times the multiplier equals 14 euro and 30 cent okay that's why it's called the multiplier you multiply the initial injection by it okay I really again as always guys i hope that makes sense okay on to the third one and I, I i hope you're just like oh john stop now i get it and that's good okay it has been calculated that the mpc is 0 0.9 the npm is 0 0.3 and the mpt is 0 0.3 calculate the value of the multiplier all we're doing is the exact same okay mpc 0.9 MPM, 0 0.3. MPT, equals 0 0.3. What's the formula for the multiplier? 1 over 1 minus MPC, which is the MPS. Don't forget that. And that's why I wrote it, because I was saying it. Plus the MPM, plus the MPT. Okay? So the multiplier equals 1 minus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.3, plus 0 0.3. I think they were going to get the same answer. I believe, I'm not sure, or maybe I'm wrong, okay, which is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.6, yeah, which is 1 over 0 0.7, which equals 1.43, okay? And perfect, okay? Um, forgive me, I'm obviously um, lacking in creativity when it comes to making up um, math questions and stuff like that so my apologies okay for the repetition now for the final one if you're still watching um, we have and I'm just going to write it down while looking at it guys because I'm getting old okay the MPC is 0 0.7 I'm writing this down now the MPM is 0 0.1 MPM equals 0 0.1 and the MPT is 0 0.5 MPT equals 0 0.5 okay so all I've done is just written out those numbers. So the multiplier equals 1 over 1 minus 0 0.7. God, I'm, I'm skipping steps now, guys. Plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5. Okay. And so the multiplier equals 1 over 0 0.3 plus 0 0.6. And that equals 1 over 0 0.9, which I believe that is 1.111 recurring, okay? And again, what is the economic meaning of that figure? Any initial injection into the circular flow of income will cause national income to rise by 1.11 times that injection. Again, guys, that is the most difficult math question that you will get on paper three of um, what was the old syllabus, which ends in 2021, and the new syllabus starts in 2022. Um, that's the, the math paper's paper three. It's the policy paper for the new syllabus, but still, you will not get anything more difficult than that. I really, really hope that helps, guys, and I very much hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching.